but there's a, a verse, I think, in Isaiah about your heart leaping with joy. And that's what it felt like. It, it felt like, uh, like I couldn't breathe anymore, but I was still breathing. Seeing this picture of this paramecium, and it was such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, I, and so, yeah, it was, it was like seeing God, but I was able to see that through using these sorts of, these methods of science that are separate from a religious way of looking at the world, but not, uh, not inimical to it. Something that bothers me very much theologically about intelligent design is that it says, here's a flagellum that we say is irreducibly complex, and, there's, and that's where the miracle is. Or humans were specially created, there's no such thing as common descent, there's where the miracle is. And so there, you know, there are like four or five or six or however many they have discrete miracles, which if they had their way, we would all learn are undescribable by science that science has no explanation for. Well, that's nice, but what you get out of that theologically is five or six miracles. And why my heart leapt when I saw this picture, this, this electron microscope, viewing of this paramecium is because the paramecium is so beautiful and there are countless trillions of them that, that it's beautiful and completely mundane and that what science allows you to see is not the set of six or however, miracle, however many miracles that are those discrete little events of creation, but the continuous miracle of a creation that changes and evolves in random and serendipitous ways to create something as beautiful as what we have. And so uh, for me as a scientist, the miracle is all the time. The, the miracle is everything. The miracle isn't once upon a time, 10,000 years ago, God did this, and he's been gone ever since. The miracle is always present for me.